Hi everyone, welcome to TechView Hub. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how we can create custom dialog fragment in Android. This button is inside the fragment. If we click on the button, a custom dialog fragment is created. To create this, first we are moving to activity main.xml. Here we are changing the text of the text view to main activity. And moving it above. Next we are creating a fragment container view. Adding layout width as match parent. And layout height as 500 dp. And adding the id as. Fragment 1. Now placing this fragment container view below the main activity text view. So next we are creating a fragment. So to create this we are moving to java folder. And inside this we are creating a new fragment. New. Fragment. Fragment blank. And changing the name to. Fragment 1. And clicking on finish. So inside the fragment 1 dot java class. We are only keeping the onCreateView method and removing the remaining codes. So next we are moving to fragment1.xml. Here we are changing the frame layout into constraint layout. Next we are removing the text view and adding a new text view. Layout with as wrap content and layout height as wrap content adding the sample text as ABC Next we are adding id to the text view. id is dialog output. Next we are increasing the text size to 30 dp. Next we are placing the text view in the required place. Next we are creating a button. Layout with as wrap content. And layout height as wrap content. And adding the text of the button as button. And 
and adding id to the button id as open dialog next we are placing the button below the text view So next we are adding background color to the fragment. So we have added blue color to the fragment. So now we have created the fragment. Now we are moving to activity main.xml. So inside the fragment container view, we are placing the fragment one. So we are adding the attribute Android name and adding the fragment one. So now we are running the app. So the fragment is placed inside the fragment container view. So now we have to place the custom dialog box. So next we have to create a custom dialog box and we need to place that inside the fragment container view so to create this first we are creating a java class for custom dialog box so we are moving inside the java class and creating a new java class and naming it as custom dialog frag So inside this we are extending the dialog fragment. So inside this we are overriding the on create dialog method. So next we are creating a new layout resource file for custom dialog box naming the file as custom dialog frag1 and clicking on ok So inside this xml we are changing the constraint layout to relative layout And inside this, we are adding the edit text. And adding layout width as match parent. And layout height as wrap content next we are adding the hint as enter the login name Adding layout margin 10 dp to the edit text. Next, we are moving to custom dialog frag.java class. 
here we are removing the return and creating a alert dialog box so next we are creating a dialog so we are adding alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to new alert dialog dot builder inside this we are adding require context next we are initializing the layout inflator layout inflator inflator is equal to get layout inflator next we are initializing the view inside the view we are inflating the custom dialog fragment so we are adding inflator dot inflate inside this we are adding custom dialog frag one layout or dot layout dot custom dialog frag one layout and adding the root as null next we are adding builder dot set view and adding the view so the custom dialog frag one layout is placed inside the alert dialog box next we are setting the title dot set title setting the title as add task next we are creating a positive button set positive button as ok and creating new dialog interface on click listener and keeping it empty so next we are returning the builder so we are adding return builder dot create so next we are initializing the tag next we are moving to fragment 1.java class here we are removing the return and initializing the view and next we are returning the view next we are declaring a button and adding id to the button button is equal to v dot find view by id or dot id dot open dialog next we are setting on click listener to the button inside this we are initializing the custom dialog frag class and adding custom dialog frag dot show
and inside this we are adding get fragment manager and tag as custom dialog frag so what we are doing now is so inside the fragment class we are creating a button so if we click on the button a custom dialog frag which we have been created should display so we are adding these quotes so now we are running the app if we click on the button the custom dialog fragment is created successfully thanks for watching the video